If you feel comfortable, can you talk a little bit about some of the symptoms that you're currently living with as it relates to your fibro? Sure. So again, I believe now I'm, I'm, I'm again, one of the lucky ones because I've learned how to manage symptoms, but doesn't mean that I don't have symptoms. So currently some of the symptoms that, that I do currently have is, um, neck pain, back pain, um, fibro fog, um, play, plays a big role, which, um, is when we can't get our, our mouth to register what, what our brains are thinking, or it comes out like alphabet mush. So we're thinking we're, we're trying to speak, but, um, other things are coming out that, that, that was a really big one for me that I am slowly overcoming, but, um, it's still very much present and, um, anxious feelings I get. Um, I, I, I get anxious at times, really anxious. And um, although I also, you know, have a diagnosis of anxiety, I know it's sometimes brought on by the fibro or vice versa. So I, I have the anxiety and then it makes my fibromyalgia symptoms flare up as well. Yeah, yeah. Similarly, I have um, suffered with anxiety probably since childhood. Well, I know since childhood, I won't even say probably just in some of the anxious habits that I've had over the years like skin picking or um um having all out panic attacks um and things like that and i do know that when i am more anxious or when my mental health is not at its optimal level i experience more lupus flares and yeah brain fog is an issue for me called brain fog versus fibro fog but it's all one in the same where it's just I am thinking things and they just don't come out of my mouth the way that I'm thinking or yeah, brain fog is a for real issue on top of all the joint aches and pains. So autoimmune illness is never fun, but it's, I feel like the longer you have your autoimmune illness and the more you understand your symptoms, the more you can tap into your healing tools that you know work for you. In the past, dealing with these symptoms and not really knowing how connected they were to my lupus, that I would just kind of try to push through. But now, to your point earlier, it's more about having more compassion for myself and the symptoms. Yeah, and, that also, and also normalizing it, I think, also helps as well. 